how the Queen really felt about Meghan Markle after engagement announcement. Backslash Meghan Markle and Prince Harry fell in love very quickly and were engaged less than two years after they first met. Now, a new documentary sheds some light on how Queen Elizabeth II really felt about the California native after their wedding was announced. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have shown with their beautiful love story that fairy tales can come true. In July 2016, Meghan was strolling around London when she was randomly introduced to Harry by a mutual friend and they both claimed to have experienced love at first sight. On November 27, 2017, it was announced by the Prince of Wales that the two were engaged. They married in a breathtaking ceremony at Windsor Castle on May 19, 2018, and welcomed their first child, a son named Archie Harris in Mount Baden, Windsor, last week. It is clear that their relationship moved very fast, but that did not seem to be a problem for Queen Elizabeth II. In 2019 Channel 5 documentary Meghan Markle, Movies, Marriage and Motherhood, Royal Correspondent Katie Nichol said, I looked back at Harry's relationship with Chelsea, Davy. It was several years before Chelsea was introduced the Queen. In 2019 Channel 5 documentary Meghan Markle, Movies, Marriage and Motherhood, Royal Correspondent Katie Nichol said, I looked back at Harry's relationship with Chelsea, Davy. It was several years before Chelsea was introduced the Queen. Gressida, who dated Harry for two years, was never introduced to the Queen. Within a matter of mere months of dating her, Harry had Meghan meet the Queen. The narrator also noted that the Queen was so impressed by Meghan that after the couple's engagement, she took the unprecedented move of inviting her to spend Christmas in Norfolk, at Sandringham. Ems Nicol explained, I was told that the Queen's feeling was this, she is preparing to give everything up for her grandson. Her career, her identity, her nationality, her home in Toronto. Everything to be with Harry. The Queen's feeling was the very least we can do is making her feel welcome at Christmas. Royal author Andrew Morton added, it was a tremendous break of convention that the Queen invited Meghan, who was after all just a fiancé, to Sandringham. Normally it is just the wives and the husbands who are allowed that. Since becoming a royal, Meghan indeed seems very close to Her Majesty. According to reports, the former actress refers to her grandmother-in-law as Mama in private, which is a nickname Princess Diana gave the monarch. 